Well, good evening and welcome to this edition of Sell Your Own Products on Amazon for Income and Lifestyle with the accent on the lifestyle. Folks, this is Terry, your Amazon private label coach, and, and man, it, it is good to be back. Uh, you know, I took a week off because we moved, uh, and man, I'll tell you what, we had lived in that house tw at thir something like 13 years, something like that, and I didn't know you could really accumulate that much junk. It was, I, I'll tell you what, we threw stuff away and we moved and we moved and we moved. And and, and if you can see around here, you can see uh, uh, we still got stuff in a few boxes. And that. We're not quite unpacked, but but we're getting there. But the point of it is uh, uh, we're hoarders. I, I have to admit it. And uh, uh, guys, that, that's got to change because uh, some of that stuff, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know what it is. Matter of fact, we had a sale, <laughs> a garage sale, and that's what I put in the garage sale that I'd give a special discount to somebody if they knew what some of that stuff was because uh, uh, just what, what can I tell you? Uh, I collected stuff. I had my own business for all those years, and I had stuff left from that. Uh, Deanna's uh, father had passed away some years ago, and he was a tool collector and a gun collector and that, and he left all kind of stuff, and I had hauled it from down to Stewart and all that, and I, a matter of fact, I had in my shop, I had one room that was nothing more than his stuff that we put in there on shelves and everything like that, and so uh, uh, we put that in the sale, and that's where some of the stuff, I, I, like I say, he was a tool collector, and some of that stuff goes back years, and I didn't even know what it was, so uh, I'm sure somebody got some great deals, which uh, which that's what it's all about. Uh, that's what garage sales are all about. And uh, I had, but I'm telling you, folks, I'm tired. But I'm going to tell you right now, I am glad to be back uh, on this broadcast because uh, I missed it. I, last week I was uh, sitting there on Thursday night. I was exhausted, but I I missed not having this broadcast. I look I look forward to that. And uh, and so that I just want to thank you for being loyal and and uh, and and watching. Uh, uh, I appreciate it, and it makes me feel good. We do, as you can see, uh, this is my new studio. It, it's kind of temporary. Let me explain what it is. We we had sold our house. We were unable to find a house that we wanted to buy. We we found a couple, but our offers got refused in that. So I said to my wife, "Well, let's us." Uh, uh, rent a place for a few months. And so I've got this rented. I can rent it month by month up until October. After October, I'm going to be in a world of hurt because I have to be out of here. But uh, until then, hopefully we're going to find something. We're going to buy it. We're going to move in. And, and that. as you can see, this is a, uh, this is a, this is the porch where I'm at here. And I just about had a thing because I, I tried this last night and uh, uh, to see if it would work and everything, but I tried it a little bit later and everything was fine. But the sun just went down over here, just behind me here, about uh, about five minutes before the show started. Uh, it went down. Before that, there was a terrible glare coming in here, and I got a, a thing I can lower down here, but uh, it was really bad. So I'm going to have to do something about that by next week because uh, uh, the, we're not even to the farthest, uh, you know, for the longest day of the year, what you want to call it. So uh, we're, we're getting that way and I'm getting it set up. So just kind of bear with me in any way. It's neat to be with you because tonight we're going to talk about uh, where to find products to sell on Amazon. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. I've done quite a few, uh, oh, I don't know, it's quite a few, but I've done at least two other shows sort of on the same uh, topic. But uh, uh, Maybe people aren't looking, or, or I didn't get my point across, or maybe I need to put it there because uh, I average probably at least two, if not three, emails a week from different people. As you know, if you can email, if you got a problem, and I'll answer it if I can. And one of the biggest ones I get is Terry. We went to Alibaba and we bought this great product. We sold it. We got it. We got the label made and everything. I'm going to ship it to Amazon. How do I promote my product? Well. That's where the problem comes in, you see, because uh, the road, if you go to the patent office or anything, all these people had these great, wonderful ideas, and they're good ideas, but the problem is they didn't take off, they didn't sell, and so the, the path to the patent office is just littered with with lost ideas, lost, uh, uh, lost money because they put money in this, it hopes, and everything, or dash, because uh, folks, I don't know how to tell you, Reinventing the wheel is not the way to go, especially if you're selling on Amazon. If, if you're selling on Amazon and you want to 
do a product, then what you would need to do is, well, let me get the, the PowerPoint presentation going here because I'm getting into it. And I just want to show you because, uh, uh, you know, what can I tell you? It, it uh, uh, where we are right here, here we go. All right. Now we're going to do this. And uh, so th that's the question for tonight, where to find products to sell on Amazon. You know, the, the, the point is real simple, you know, because if you go to Alibaba and, and you buy a product, how do you know it's going to sell on Amazon? You don't. You're, you're kind of reinventing the wheel, you know, and, and you don't want to do that. You know, we've talked and talked and talked about following a system we're going to talk about that again tonight because that's that's what counts after you you've got a year into this and you're you're doing good and you've got you're making extra money and you can afford to lose some money that's the place to try time to try uh not try but to well to uh, find different products and try different things out but not when you're first far and follow is starting out you want to stick to that uh, you want to stick to that proven system that you've uh, you maybe paid money to follow this person or you're following this person you want to follow him to what he says because he knows what he's talking about and it, he, see the thing about it is it, you take a little bit from me you take a little bit from this guy brett bartley take a little bit from here and any of this and and then try to put them all together they don't work because my for my my system, Brett Bartlett's works for his system, Andy Slamas works for his, and they all work, but they don't work when they're mixed together. There's nothing wrong with any any of those products. But the but the point of it is you don't want to mix them up. You don't want to go out to the forum and you take an idea from this guy and an idea for that. You know, man, stick to the forum, the people you're following. It's, it's just that simple. So let's go where to find products to sell on Amazon. So, like I say, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. See this guy's right here? You know, <clears throat> that, that doesn't make sense. That's not what we're into here for. We're into here to, to follow a proven system. We're here to, to make money, and that's what I want you to do. So hold on just a minute. I got me a little drink of water here. And so we're going on. So we don't want to reinvent the wheel. That's that's not what this is, course is all about. That's not what I teach. I teach you to... to uh, uh, well, don't reinvent the wheel. In, inventing has a very poor success rate. So like I say, that it's if you go to the patent office, it's littered with corpses of people who've tried, who've had neat ideas, neat ideas, but that doesn't mean it's going to sell. You know, it's, the path to success is littered with untold millions of those that didn't make it. it, it it's just that simple, folks. It's just that simple. You know, don't try to invent the wheel. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. I'm sorry. So, what you want to do is set yourself up for success. Now, this is this is what we teach. This is what I, I, I I'm talking about tonight. So you so how do you set yourself up for success? Very simple. You find a winner and copy it. That's that's simple. You find a winner and copy it. But in an even better way is to even is to find a winner and make it better. In other words, you see, he's adding sugar, he's sweetening the pot. And that's what we teach in this course. That's what we try to get across to you, that you want to find a winner, something that's selling good on Amazon, and make it better. It's just that simple. Uh, it's nothing. So here we go. So where do I find a product to sell? If you sell on Amazon, you want to look on Amazon. If you sell on eBay, you want to look on eBay. Uh, what? What can I tell you, folks? This is what we're what we're talking about. Uh, it's only natural. If you're going to sell on Amazon, wouldn't it make more sense for you to go to Amazon, find a product that's in, within the first 500 of any category, and with it's got low reviews, it's something that you can beat, something that's beatable, and then make it better. It only makes sense, folks, because the product is already selling good. It's already selling good, and you know it is from there on in. So why wouldn't you go to, to Amazon, find that product, and then make it better? Make it better. We've talked about that before. How do you make a product better? You want to make the perceived value better. It could be nothing more than just changing the packaging. Virex, maybe there's there's. Uh, they're selling it in a shrink wrap or something like that. So it maybe cost you five, six cents more to go to a nice box with a great presentation. And that's what we call about making it better. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the, 
the people behind me or something, but uh, uh, it's my neighbors. And uh, anyway, uh, I apologize. I think we'll be fine. Uh, I hope it, uh, it's not coming soon. But where do I find products to sell? If you sell on Amazon, you go to Amazon. If you sell on eBay, you go to eBay. It, it, it's real simple because Amazon and eBay, by the way, are different. Something that sells on Amazon is not necessarily going to sell on eBay and, the, and vice versa. Why? Because they're two different platforms. They're two different platforms. Uh, you know, uh, definitely I prefer Amazon because Amazon's the bigger the platform. It's the better the platform. And I think it's more conducive to the private label. Uh, eBay is is uh, noted for uh, uh, returns, not returns, but uh, uh, used stuff and, and stuff like that. They sell some new stuff on there, but uh, eBay's got a long way to go before they catch up to Amazon. So I prefer Amazon, but that doesn't make it right or wrong. Uh, you can make some good money on eBay, and so that's what uh, that's what we're all for here. So uh, hold on, let's see what we got here. So what's Alibaba for? Because almost every, almost to letter, every one of these email I've got have said, Terry, we've gone to Alibaba, found this great pro product, and we want to sell it on Amazon. But that's not what Alibaba is for. Alibaba is a good company. Don't get me wrong. There is also uh, uh, wholesale brands. There is also uh, global sources. Uh, quite a few others out there that uh, yeah, we talk about that in the course, but I'm not going to get into that tonight. That are that are great for that wholesale brand. But anyway, what's Alibaba for? Is sourcing. Now, don't get me wrong. But Alibaba is for sourcing. If if you want to. Do this right. Alibaba is for sourcing. You go to Amazon, you pick out the product you want to sell, and then you go to Alibaba to find out where you can get it and to make a deal with a supplier and make that better, make that uh, product better. That's what it's about. That's what Alibaba is for. Alibaba is for sourcing. Alibaba is not for picking out a product. Now, I don't mean to crush your feelings or anything like that. I know a lot of people have done it. A lot of people, they're, they're hurting now because they've placed these, these orders to Alibaba and the stuff is just sitting there because <clears throat> there's ways we teach in the course and, and there's ways we, I'm not going to get into it tonight, where you can promote a product, but there's nothing like promote a, promoting a product, folks, that's already selling good. That just makes sense. Promote a product that's already selling good, and you've got an automatic winner. If you just promote a product, it might be the greatest thing in the world, but if the guy down the street or the guy looking at, at uh, Amazon doesn't think so, it's just going to sit there, and it's going to get stinky after a while because and that, that's what we want. You want to be able to sell what you're sending in, and you want it to start flying off those shelves because you take a product that, that's selling good, make that product better. Bake the perceive value better and people are just gonna they're gonna gobble it up it's gonna fly off the shelf you're gonna make money and you're gonna be successful it's just that simple you know so Alibaba is for forcing so you follow a proven system a system that works you know it's real simple like I say I'm not the only one with a system that works I, I wouldn't possibly try to claim that my system works good but there's other ones that do too but you need to find a system and follow that this system the steps are there for a purpose you know don't jump around don't jump from step one and go to step eight or anything like that it's not gonna work step one step two step three go ahead and you'll get your product in you'll get your 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 uh, label made you get your your uh, uh, every, everything you need you're gonna get a sit in you get to get get your uh, uh, shipping all set down and everything like that is just by by doing like i say following steps one step two step three step four don't step around step one step two once you get rolling and making money then experiment try new ideas there's nothing wrong with it i mean you can try that now <clears throat> if you've got bukus of money you just want to just throw around and try out new ideas and, and experiment then you go right ahead but it's kind of like winning the lottery you know, if you send the product into Amazon, that's not been proven, that's not selling on Amazon, don't expect people to just jump up and say, oh, my gosh, look at this new product, because that's not going to happen, folks. I hate to tell you, I don't care how good your product is, because, you know, because Amazon's not going to promote it, because they're not, they, Amazon, I've talked about this before, Amazon wants nothing more than for their customers to get the best 
product going. They want their customers to get the product that's selling the best. They want their customers to get to something that's guaranteed, what the reviews are good on. And that's what Amazon's about. You send a, a new product in, and Amazon's going to be cautious as heck, you know, and, and rightfully so, because they want their customers to get the best the best product for their money because they want their customers to uh, brag about the deal they got on Amazon, brag about how the, the service they got on Amazon, brag about Prime, how fast they got their thing, and how fast they got their products in that. So, like I say, uh, I'm not trying to give you a rough time. I'm just saying that once you get rolling and making money, then experiment and try new ideas. But when you're starting out, when you're starting out, then you want to follow a system, follow a step one, two, and three. You know, it's just that simple, folks. It's just that simple. And that's my thing here. So we're going to stop this. And we're going to come back here. And, uh, and oh, that thing comes up. And you see the sun is going down. And uh, uh, you see my new studio here. Uh, so let me get over here. And I'm going to turn on the question and answer app right now. And there it is. It's over on my right side. Uh, radio and background looking nice. Select. Hey, Don, uh, I'm going to say, yes. Uh, actually, what the... Uh, what the noise in the background is 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 some of my neighbors, and I'm going to have to figure out some way to. Uh, they're out on the on their porch, or they're talking to some friends of theirs out there, and I'm going to have to figure out a way to uh, uh, eliminate that by next week. I can uh, I can do it. I just have to, or I might have to move my studio. Uh, like I say, this is just a, a temporary place. Uh, uh, hopefully. You know, we're not going to spend more than two, three months. I can spend up to October up here, and and that's nice. So, and Don says, looking nice. Well, thanks, Don. It is. It's kind of a, uh, uh, what this is, we're in a 55 uh, uh, plus community, a retirement community, which first time I've <laughs> ever lived there. And uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm enjoying it, man. I go to... Uh, I get up in the morning and I and I fix my breakfast and then I go out for my walk and I walk oh, around I don't know maybe five or six blocks whatever it is around just around this one little section we live in back here and uh, this is called the uh, Pine Lake Gardens Estates is what it is and uh, uh, it's called that and man the people are out there and they talk to you and and they're friendly and and I'm just really enjoying it we've got some nice neighbors uh, what can I tell you uh, I'm really excited because uh, I've never done that before we've uh, you know, all the time I was in business and all that, we lived out on, we had 10 acres out in the country with a big barn and everything. That's where the business was. And there was a, be, between the, the house and the barn was a great big, huge natural pond that was there. And then the house is on the other side. And so I got up in the morning, I went over to the business and worked on there all day. And then when I came home, I walked across the pond and came home and, and you know, didn't get out. And so we were all by ourselves. We the house and everything was right smack dab in the middle of the uh, uh, 10 acres. So we had, we're surrounded by goats because we raised goats and, and other chickens and, and all that good stuff. And we had a ball, but uh, that time for that. And then we moved into town and we, we uh, went to an acre and a half or acre and a quarter, a little over an acre. I'm sorry, not an acre and a half. I apologize. But anyway, we went to that and I thought, oh man, this is just right because going from that 10 down to that acre, little acre plus was, uh, I thought was great. But, uh, I'm going to tell you something. As I got older and I got older, it got to be more and more work. And we especially had a swimming pool, and I had some problems with the swimming pool. Got them all corrected, but uh, uh, it took time, and it just took it out of me. And and uh, so I'm looking at my wife, and I said, you know, this is not what uh, what it's all about. I really want to kind of retire. I said I like doing what I do on the the internet, and uh, and just want to concentrate on that, and not have to worry about whether the pool's right or any of that kind of stuff. Let somebody else do it. So, so we sold the big house. We uh, we sold it, moved out last last week, and moved into this. This is a temporary one, like I say, but uh, it, it's it's nice, and we enjoy it. And like I say, got good neighbors, and and I really enjoy the people around here. I haven't been to the swimming pool yet, but I I think maybe tomorrow I might do that because uh, we we built it. Well, you can't see out here. I wish I could take my camera and show you there. Uh, <clears throat> we had to build a ramp up because my mother-in-law lives with us and she can't climb the stairs very well. So we took one of the entrances and we built a ramp. So it goes up there too, so she can get in and out real well and uh, all that. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'm talking about this and I keep forgetting it. over here on the right is a place for question and answer. So if you uh, would put your questions or, and, and uh, right there, I'll be glad to answer it. If it's something that I don't, uh, uh, no, I guarantee it. Uh, my friend Don Schaefer is on here tonight, and uh, uh, he knows it. 
without a doubt. Don is all right. And he's been through some, uh, quite a few trials and tribulations here lately. But uh, between Don and I, or if anybody else is on there, uh, send me a thing here and I'll, we'll get you on here. I'll, we'll shoot you a link or something like that and we'll get you going. Excuse me, I'm going to have a little drink here. Hmm. That tastes good. I use a carry water bottle. <laughs> I don't know where my wife put the water bottle. So what can I tell you? I got that good glass. And uh, so we're here, and uh, we're having a good time. And, and uh, so, like I say, we're looking for questions here right now. Be glad to answer any questions you got. It doesn't have to be on uh, uh, where to find products. It could be on anything uh, concerning private label, why uh, uh we look forward to answering. So, if you'd want to put your questions in there, we will we will try and answer them and and, and go from there. So, uh, uh, we hope you're having a good time. And by the way, this is from beautiful, beautiful downtown. Well, I don't know if it's downtown. It's kind of on the edge of Stewart, Florida, right off of US one. About uh, we're about maybe 10, 12 blocks off of US one, and uh, uh, it's what they call the treasure coast of Florida. We're there and. Uh, been here for quite a few years, 36 years now. Really like it, but uh, it's a great place to do business from and a great place to live in. And uh, what can I tell you? Uh, <clears throat> I have to think I was going to save something. And let me see here a minute. I don't know if I brought it up or not. No, I didn't. Uh, I have to save it for next week because there was something I came across that I thought would be interesting then. And uh, there, there, there's a car starting up outside. So uh, this is what I'm telling you. I'm going to have to work on that for next next week and maybe put uh, some, a little more soundproof in here or something and maybe put a pair of draperies across there or something. I'll, I'll work on something and we'll get it. But anyway, I'm here. Uh, as you can see, the question and answer, Don says, look at night. I, I enjoy it, Don. I got a little sofa back behind before I had the... Uh, uh, the uh, uh, labeling uh, station and all that, and the weighing station was behind me. Well, this time I, I've got a sofa back there, and uh, uh, anyway, like I say, we're in a new place. I'm excited. I'm excited. What can I tell you? Uh, so if you got some questions, why, uh, uh, there's a bunch of viewers on here tonight, so come on, guys. We need some questions. Uh, otherwise, I'll sit here, and if I could do a little song and dance if you'd like, but... Uh, I don't think you really want to, you know, spend your night watching me do a little song and dance. So, uh, uh, but anyway, take some questions. Uh, what was I going to tell you? Uh, something about, uh, I saw, I see that C CES sold out already for the, what, the first, from around the first week of September and that, that's what, uh, that convention, which was, uh, uh, I've gone the last two years. I'm going to miss it this year. I didn't, uh, uh, we were right in the middle of moving. And then the thing of it is we didn't have the, uh, 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 I didn't have the place settled and everything like that. And I didn't know because if, if I'd have to be moving about then. So I just, I opted not to go to CES this year, which is uh, kind of bad. And I see my, my son-in-law is out here to pick up my car <laughs> but uh, what can i tell you folks what can i tell you if you've got uh, uh uh you know what i'm going to have to get uh i'm gonna have to get my keys out of my pocket to give my son-in-law's bar in my car because he's going to uh, uh he's going up to orlando tonight for something i'm not quite sure and uh Oh, wow. Can you excuse me one minute? And I'm going to have to go get my, uh, I'm going to have to go get my uh, keys for him. I will, uh, I will be back in about two seconds. Would you like to talk to everybody? Sure. What am I talking okay. about? This is, okay, folks. Uh, this is my, this is my, this is my daughter, Bethany. And she just came because her husband's going to borrow my car. So we have to go pick that up. Bethany, say hi to everybody out there. Hello, uh, everybody in internet land. Yes. This is my daughter, Bethany, and she's the one that she kind of helps me every once in a while with some stuff, and uh, uh, very appreciative. So give me one second. I'm going to go get her the keys to my uh, my car. And I
No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No. So we're all set here. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, folks, how about some questions? Uh, gosh darn it. Don says hi. That was to my daughter, Bethany, and uh, all that. So, uh, boy, it's getting noisy out here. The car's running. Uh, they're run they're going to start my car up right here, so be prepared for a little bit more. I apologize, folks. Uh, I might have to work something else out for next week. Maybe use the other room as a studio or something like that. Uh, I don't know. What can I tell you? Like I say, we built this. we got a ramp built. And... <laughs> Boy, there goes. There they go. There. It'd be quiet here in a minute. And I, I apologize about all this, but uh, we just have to do what we got to do, and we're going to work on that. So, uh, how about uh, it's only only been a half an hour. We've only done a half an hour here, and uh, I hope they got my points. If you got any questions on, on on selling on Amazon, any kind, I'd be glad to answer them. Uh, there's a question box there. We'll just put them in. If not, why, uh, uh, you know, we might cut this short tonight if there's not too many people out there. Uh, I mean, there, there's plenty of viewers out there, but nobody seems to be answering, uh, asking questions. And, uh, gosh, it, if, if you want to share something, I'll, you know, I'll have you come on or something. Uh, what can I tell you? We, uh, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> and if nobody's going to ask any questions, I'll probably go. I'm going to have a glass of water here. Hang on a minute. Yeah, Don says, so funny. Yeah. Uh -huh. What can I tell you, Don? Best, what is it? Best made plans of mice and men are something I, I forgot what it is i was never too good at poetry uh, I, I love literature but never po not poetry so anyway uh, anyway you got people out there i'd ask you to put your questions in if not why uh, like i say we might cut it short here tonight uh, this is our first week back and uh, this is my new studio and uh, Things didn't work out exactly the way I planned tonight, but uh, uh, hopefully we're going to get better, and we will uh, uh, have to make some. I might have to put some draperies out here, something with soundproof, because uh, uh, I got some really neat neighbors over there, but they're out on their porch too, and uh, so I can hear all that. Don Schaefer says, "How about checking competition?" Well, that's a good question. Uh, you know, we talked about the place to go to find a product to sell on Amazon is is Amazon, not Alibaba, but Amazon. So if you're going to check on your competition, uh, how about checking the competition? So there is a uh, the best way, bad spelling, select, bad spelling. Uh, I'm not quite sure I know what you mean, Don. Bad spell. But anyway, if you're going to check on the competition, uh, I, I think one of the best places is a program or a, a tool out there called Jungle Scout. You can take that to the the product page for Amazon, or you can check it to the general product, product page for Amazon. You know, if you type in like uh, what we like the one we always use, Gram Scales. If you type in Gram Scales, it's going to give you a whole page full of Gram Scales. All right. If you get up on the right hand corner, if you've got Jungle Scout on on your on your thing, you can click on Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is going to give you all the information for all those products on that page. They're going to tell you, you know, uh, what the price is. They're going to tell you how many they're selling a month. They're going to tell you what the estimated sales volume is a month, and they're going to tell you everything else you want to know. And so you can make some really neat thing. It'll tell you your rank. And, and all that, which is invaluable. I'm telling you, before Jungle Scout, you had to go and do all that stuff by hand, and you can still do it by hand. Don't You don't have to buy Jungle Scout just because I said, don't get me wrong. But if you want to save, save yourself tons and tons and tons of hours, then you're going to get Jungle Scout. Uh, uh, we've got a, a section on the on my website where we uh, talk about and we evaluate Jungle Scout. You're welcome to go read it over there. Uh, it's just uh, privatelabelselling.com and then you go to tools and you go on tools and you'll see the, the, pick up the article on Jungle Scout. It'll tell you all about it. But uh, like I say, uh, 
that's one of the that's one of the ways you you find out and you check up on the competition check up on the competition check up how, how they're doing and one of the ways is is uh, when you check the competition one of the first things you want to check is you want to you want to check their rank you want something between one and five hundred and then you want to check the reviews now I personally like any reviews if they have reviews less than a hundred if they get over two, three hundred reviews and got it in, they're going to be hard to beat because it's going to—it would cost you a ton of money to get over those reviews. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because what Amazon does when they take the—they don't also remember what I, I talked about earlier in the show. Amazon has one rule, and they want their customer to get the best deal possible. That's it. That's what Amazon wants, and that's what they go, and that's what that's how they pick people to go in, and uh, uh, I mean pick products to show when when you turn when you turn when you put Gram Scale, for instance, that's the one we use. Put Gram Scale in the browser window on in Amazon right there. Amazon's going to bring you this whole page up of of Gram Scales, and they're going to pick them up in the order that they think they should be. Looked at. In other words, their best-selling gram scale is going to be number one and number two, and all that. And so that's where you want to be. You want to be the number one. But but you look at all those because all those are important, and those are all your competition. And is is there some that's coming up? Is there some that's that's gaining? Or is something you got to watch in for? Is there such a thing? Wait a minute. Hold a minute. Okay. And and I hope that explains to you. Uh, All right, here's another question, Don. Is there such a thing as too much competition? No, I don't think so. I think the more competition, the more popular the product is. But I think what it is, is you want to make sure, you know, you want to make sure you can overcome that. Like I say, if if, if, if it's a between one and 500, it's selling good. It's selling, it's flying off the shelf. You don't have to worry about it, but you want to make that product better. So, and the next thing is the reviews. If, if Because Amazon's going to go by those reviews. Look at the product you're trying to copy. Look at the reviews and see what other people are telling you about it. If they're saying that the, the uh, has a, a, the left hinge has it, or whatever it is, has a problem and falls off or something like that, you want to make darn sure that your product, that left hinge is on there just as solid as can be, and you want to stress that in your in your sales point as your point or your, your, your product points. You know, that, that's just plain common sense. But like I say, you take a product and you make it better. Perceived value can be nothing more than sometimes just putting it in, in, in a box instead of a, a cellophane wrap uh, thing. It could be anything. The Perceive value, make it better, and that and your products are going to go, especially when you're selling like that. But uh, is there such a thing as too much competition? No, because I'm going to tell you what, you get down there on some of the, a lot of those competitions on there, uh, look at them, no pictures, especially Amazon. Amazon's one of the, the worst uh, for this. They might be in it, but they don't have any pictures. They're Sometimes their bullet points are, are, are nonsense. They don't uh, they don't explain them right, and the and the definition or the description box is 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 nonsense down there. So uh, don't let that worry. No, uh, I think you can. I think the more competition you get, the better off you are. You just want to make sure that you're number one or number two. You know, and really not number two. You want to be number one, and you can be number one if you. Pick those products and, and watch for the reviews and all that and, and make your product better. Pick a product, pick a good selling product and make it better. Make the perceived value better and you're going to do all right. I don't care where you're at. And and the heck with it. I think the more competition you got, this is going to bring more people to the page. So, uh, uh, no, I don't think so, uh, Don. I think you're fine. I think uh, the more the merrier, you know. Uh, so what can I tell you, folks? Uh Excuse me just a minute. All right, folks, I got some, uh, we got some time for some more questions up there. Uh, <clears throat> can I tell you about, it? it's, a, I don't know about uh, you, it's summertime here, and uh, I feel this porch is a little bit warm last night, uh, tonight, but uh, uh, I don't know why, but because it's nice and, and outside, but uh, everything's going on, so uh, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, 
I guess if nobody else is going to have any questions, why we will sign out for tonight and uh, and see you next week and that. But uh, I don't mind staying on here if, if somebody's got questions. Why, uh, be glad to answer them. Uh, be my best. And like I say, if I can't answer them, Don Schaefer is on here. I know he can. And uh, between the two of us, we can, we can answer. If, and if we can't, I guarantee you, I will go to whoever I have to to find out the answer, and I will get back to you. So uh, uh, that's what we're all about, folks. That's what we're all about. So uh, it's uh, 8.37. We're 37 minutes in. We have quite a few viewers over here, but nobody is uh, – uh, you know, asking questions tonight, which is which is okay. I'm uh, uh, I won't say I'm disappointed because I like to answer questions and uh, and you know what can I tell you? So uh, uh, all right, so we don't have any more. So I guess I will sign off tonight, folks. Uh, tell you, I hope the uh, uh, hey, thanks, Dad. Hey, let me ask you a question because this is a new place and everything like that. How was the, was the picture and the sound all right tonight? That's what I, I guess I want to know. Can uh, if you, somebody shoot me up there, uh, just tell me what you thought. Uh, is it, is it okay? Because, uh, uh, you know, the, the width and everything like that, the, uh, uh, speed of the internet and all that was everything fine. If you can just shoot me an answer up there. Boy, you guys are bashful tonight. I'm telling you. Uh, so, okay. I guess nobody's going to answer up there. So, uh, uh, what can I tell you, folks? I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming out tonight. I appreciate this first time back. And uh, like I say, we will see you next week. We're going to keep doing this. And this this broadcast will be posted tomorrow on the on the website. It's privatelabelselling.com. Feel free to go over there. And uh, all the past... Google Hangouts and all that, they're, they're listed here. Uh, uh, well, I think I got two more to post, and I'll post those tomorrow. I've just been busy the last couple of weeks and didn't get it. So, uh, and uh, Don says, very good. Uh, all right. So, uh, folks, with that being said, uh, I, I wish you all a good night. I thank you all for coming out, and we shall see you on the next broadcast. So uh, have a good one. If you got anything you need to tell, you can always uh, uh, email me or, uh, or, you know, anything like that. So uh, we shall see you later. Have a good one. And thanks for coming out tonight.